Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling Predictions for 2018. So this is this is a new idea I had where I take every championship and I predict who will be the champion by the end of 2018. And then at 2019, I will relook at all my list, look at it and go, oh god, how could I be wrong? Oh wow, I was a genius. This was absolutely right. Uh, so obviously we'll be doing this every year now. So first things first, let's look at the NXT division. Um, first ones I'm going to look at is the tag team championship. Uh, this was a really hard decision, really, uh, because the rules that I've made for myself is I've got, I've tried to keep it as everyone who's still on the same roster as they are now. Uh, I know that's not going to happen. We know there's going to be people from NXT going off to Raw and SmackDown, and we know there's possibly going to be a superstar shakeup or a trade or a draft coming up at some point soon. Um, but I've tried to make it as possible, you know, as clear as possible for myself. Because let's be honest, when it comes to trades and all this lot and call-ups, it's so hard to predict. But first things first, tag. NXT Tag Team Champions. Uh, I went with the Street Profits. Uh, they're just so much fun. The reason I think is, I can see them being called up to SmackDown, but in my head it's, they could get called up, but right now I don't think they will. Um, I think they could be on NXT for another year, and these guys would be the perfect NXT Tag Team Champions to end the year on. They kind of remind me of the New Day. I know it sounds crazy, but they're so positive and happy, and I, I, would, I like that. I really do like that in the tag team. Um, next up is the Women's NXT Champion. Uh, I, I've, I've played it safe, guys. I've gone with Kairi Sane. I know, I know there was a lot of backlash with her when she first joined. I know there was a lot of fans for her. I was a big fan of her before she joined uh, NXT. Uh, but definitely, she uh, she's definitely for me the favourite to hold that title at some at, by the end of next year. Uh, well, this year now, and I can see her definitely, definitely becoming NXT champion. Uh, I know there's a lot of anger because people think she's going to be the next Oscar, but nah, she's not going to. Not I don't think they're going to redo the Oscar thing with the longest streak, undefeated streak. I think she's going to have a few defeats. I think they're going to build her up as a character, as this, you know, strong baby face, but still loses. I think it will work out well for her. Uh, and for our NXT men's champion, I have gone for Adam Cole. It was so hard because you can easily think that Vince McMahon would call him up quite soon. He's got a big fan following and as it is from the Bullet Club time. Um, and plus if my theory is correct, it would make sense for him to go to Raw. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, Adam Cole, NXT champion. Uh, for the UK championship, I've also classed that into the... Um, as in the NXT division, um, I've gone for Trent Seven, only because he has a fantastic mustache, he, and he looks awesome. So yeah, Trent Seven. Um, let's have a look at Raw then. Um, for the Universal Champion, and that's what I'm going. I'm going straight in for the big title. I am going for Samoa Joe. I know it's crazy because we've got Roman Reigns, but for me, Joe just feels like he's. He's ready. He could hold that title for a year like Brock Lesnar has. Um, and he would be a fantastic champion. He's one of my favourite wrestlers right now in the company. And it would be good to see him hold the big title on Raw. And he would feel like a legitimate champion. Like He's going to be there every week. And he would be like a big threat to anyone who challenges him for that title. So I went for Samoa Joe. Um, Raw Women's title again, and I've gone safe, I've gone for Oscar, I think it's going to be her, I think she's, they could do another long term undefeated streak with her, I don't, if, 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 if my theory is correct, 2018 she will not lose, she might lose the Women's Royal Rumble, but I don't think she's going to lose a singles match. I think she's gonna. I think she's not gonna get pinned this year, and I think she's gonna win the Raw's title quite soon. If 
if not after the Royal Rumble, if not at Rumble, then after the Royal Rumble. And then uh, the Raw Tag Team Championships. Uh, again, I played it safe. Not safe. This is a this is part of my theory. The club. Now I know what you're thinking. Why the club? Now listen to it. Listen before you get angry. I know that the club haven't been used. Uh, the Good Brothers, and Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows. Uh, but just listen to me, guys. I, my theory is that we're going to see the proper club. We're going to have Finn Balor part of a club. And I mean, we're going to have a legitimate heel club. I think we're going to have a proper club this year. And it's going to feel like Bullet Club. It's going to feel like... Because WWE have held, hold, have held off on this, releasing this. And they've got the right guys to do it. Uh, these guys are the founding members of the Bullet Club. And it would just make sense to use them properly. And then, the reason I'm going straight into it is now Finn Balor, Intercontinental Champion. We're going to have the club as the biggest threat on Raw. Uh, the, and the Shield, yes, you hear me right, the Shield versus the club. We're going to see that. That's going to be the big things for us in 2018. Um, obviously, Roman will win the title at at Mania against Brock Lesnar but I think he will lose it to Joe at some point and I think the Shield versus the club will happen this year that's my big bet for this year on Raw uh, that this that will happen um, so Intercontinental Champion like I said Finn Balor and Cruiserweight Champion Hideo Itami uh, reason is the guy is possibly apart from Neville has got to be one of the best cruiserweights in the division and he should just hold the title uh, I know his Curtis Alexander is number one contender right now but I think he will win it at some point and Hideo will take it off him after that I mean I think he, he could mo motivate that division again into being something we would enjoy seeing now to our Smackdown show and I'm going for a risk I'm going to say it AJ Styles WWE champion. He's gonna lose it a few times. He's gonna probably lose it one, lose it at some point. But by the end of 2018, AJ is gonna hold the title once again, like he did at the end of this year. And he's gonna be feel like a legitimate powerhouse champion, like he should be. He's the man who built SmackDown. Like I know there's always rumors when there's talks about people going from Raw to SmackDown and AJ is always the first name which everyone thinks of leaving SmackDown and going to Raw but he is the man who built SmackDown Live and he's definitely going to hold that title and for the women's division there's no change really Charlotte's going to hold that title yes I again I still think she's going to lose the title possibly to Becky Lynch at some point uh, or someone else and then she will finally win it back at the end of the year again and she's apart you know she's for me the best women's wrestler in the whole company just let her hold the belt as long as possible and at the end of the year just let her hold the belt again and for the tag team division it was I was gonna say the Usos because again I think they are the best tag team in the world right now but I am going for again this is a risk saying this the Bludgeon Brothers, Luke Harper and Eric Rowland. Don't ask me why, I just like the music. That's it. That's the legitimate reason. And they made a job of scream like a little girl. And that was so funny. I like that. That was funny. And they, they look cool when they come out. And they have awesome music. Did I mention they have really good music, entrance music? That's possibly the only reason I want to see them as tag team champions. Plus, I like them a hell of a lot more than I like... Uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin so there you go and for the biggest risk of the year's predictions I am going for Zack Ryder oh, I can't believe I'm saying Zack Ryder as United States Champion and there you go guys that's my predictions for 2018 I know I'm possibly going to be wrong because it's going to be swaps or trades or drafts whatever there is but let me know what. who do you think is going to be champions? Who Do you think Adam Cole is going to be NXT champion at some point? Just let me know. And okay, so I'll see you guys on the next Smart Talk Wrestling Review video.